Hey, what is going on guys? It's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS5 tutorial. So in this one, I'm going to be giving you guys a full guide on how to get cheats and trainers up and running on your favorite PS4 and PS5 games so you can get your favorite cheats applied. So this is now possible thanks to the PS5 debug payload and of course some updated tools so we can now get our trainers running here on the PS5. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to do a PS4 game and a PS5 game. So for PS4 games, I've got Days Gone. So if I press options and head down to information, it's very important that you check your game version before trying to apply a trainer. Because if you use a trainer for the wrong game version, then it will just freeze the game. So you can see I'm on version 1.51 of Days Gone. So next, we want to run the internet browser and load up our exploit host. So I'll use um, ES7IN1.site to go to one of the exploit hosts. And I'll use Idle Sauce's host here to jailbreak the ps5 if you don't know how to get that set up and running i have a full guide that i'll leave down in the video description but uh, we're going to go ahead and run the jailbreak here so once you have the exploit loaded you need to run the ps5 debug payload first of all make sure that's the first payload that you run now if your game is a retail game not a fake package game then just run the ps5 debug payload and nothing else however if you're using a fake package game like a fake package ps4 game then you will also then need to run the k stuff payload in order to be able to run your ps4 game so run that payload next if it is a fake package game that you are wanting to run the trainer on and also note down your ip address that shows up here listening on 192.168.137.226 we want to get that information there as well. So, so once you have all that done, we're basically ready to attach the trainer. So we'll go ahead and run the game. Okay, so I've got the game up and running here. So we'll pause the game and switch over to our computer to grab the trainer. So the trainer we want to get here is the multi-trainer 11.81 or any higher version by Shinengami, which supports the PS5. As you can see here, the latest update has added offsets for PS5. So we're just going to go ahead and download this. You can just enter zero if you don't want to leave a donation, you'll be able to get the download. Or you can enter a donation if you want to help support the tool and get the download. So you have that option there. So this will all be linked in the video description, everything that I use here in this video. So from here, we can go ahead and extract the multi-trainer out to our desktop. Now it may show up as a virus in Windows Defender. I had to add it as an exception. It's just because it's heavily obfuscated. The source code's heavily obfuscated which causes false positive detections and antiviruses. So you may have to disable your antivirus or just add an exception for the program to get it to work and to stop your antivirus deleting it, which is kind of unfortunate because Windows Defender is obviously what most people use. So anyway, if we go ahead and open up the trainer here and search for the game, so you can see we've got 708 trainers loaded. And if it doesn't load all of the trainers immediately, you should press the button here to update trainer list. And that will grab all of the latest trainers. There it goes, downloading them all. So 708 trainers loaded. You can also reload the trainers if you add any manually and you want to refresh it. You can go ahead and do that too. We also want to head to the settings and make sure you enter the IP address of your PS5 in the PS4 IP box. So 192.168.137.226 was the IP address of my uh, PS5. Also, you've got the folders here that show you where the trainer route is if you want to add your own trainers, which we will be doing later. Keep a note of that there as well. So from here, we can go ahead and search for the game. So days gone, we'll just type in days. So we've got a few trainers here. So that's for 1.80, 1.81. The one we want is for 1.51 because that's the version that I had installed. So select the correct trainer for your game version. So that's going to be this one here. Now I am on a slightly different game version. I'm actually on CUSA 09176, not 175. So it'll probably complain when I attach the trainer about the IDs being mismatched and some issues that can come with that. But generally it should still work because they're pretty much the same on the same game version. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the trainer. And there we go. Project game doesn't match the actual game. I'll just click OK and get it up and running. So there we go, it says trainer attached. You also get a notification on the PS5 itself to say that the trainer has been attached and then we can enable some cheats. So let's enable bottomless clips so we don't have to reload our weapons. So we'll enable that. Now it's important to leave a few seconds between activating each cheat, because if you click on too many at once, then it'll probably time out. It takes a while to send all that data to the console um, and for it to you know verify it and all that. So once it's checked, we can go ahead and activate the next cheat, which is going to be infinite ammo. And then I'll also activate infinite items, 
so that, uh, yeah, we have basically infinite consumables that we can use. Enable that one as well. And there we go. Everything is enabled. So if we switch back over to the game, we'll check to see if that if that has worked. So we'll go ahead and fire our weapon. You can see we don't have to reload the crossbow and we're not running out of ammo. We can also do the same with our pistol here. Unlimited ammo is enabled. And then also grab our molotovs. And you can see we've got unlimited molotovs there as well. And in terms of like infinite items here we can craft as many bandages as we want because we have infinite items so yeah there we go that's all working absolutely fine so yeah those are ps4 games there's lots of trainers available there for your ps4 games in this multi-trainer now to switch to a ps5 game i'm going to go ahead and first of all detach the trainer you should always detach the trainer while you're still on the game before exiting so there we go now the trainer is detached we can close out of this Close out of this here. So for PS5 games, there aren't really many PS5 trainers in here. I don't think there's any right now. Uh, there was a trainer for Demon Souls somewhere, but I'm not seeing it in, in here right now. So that's a bit of a shame. So I went ahead and created my own PS5 trainer that I'll apply to the game. There's also like some other PS4 games that are missing in this list at the moment, like Assassin's Creed. Uh, Mirage is not in here for whatever reason. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can apply your own trainers, uh, basically your own trainers and add them to this multi-trainer so that you can have more PS4 games as well as adding any new PS5 game trainers that come out in the future. So in order to do this, we're going to close out of the application right now. And I've got my Rift Apart trainer that I made for Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, a native PS5 game. It supports the base version and 1.002 of Rift Apart. So to install this trainer, what I need to do is first of all, open up my documents folder on my computer. So if we open up the documents folder, this is where the Reaper Reborn folder gets created from the multi-trainer. So if you go into that folder after you've ran the trainer, you'll have the trainers folder. And in here, you've got all your different trainer types that you can add to these folders to get them to show up in the program. So all we need to do is add our PS5 trainer in here. So it's an SHN EXT file, which is a sh next trainer so we'll copy it into this folder here so we'll pop those in there and we can also add our cover image into the covers so that we can get the icon showing up properly as well so that's been added and if you want to add more ps4 games uh, more ps4 game cheats then you can actually just download the whole gold hen cheats repository which has the most cheats for all of your different ps4 games you can just go ahead and download it here as a zip file from this github repo and download all of the gold hen cheats for the ps4 and then from here if we open up the gold hen cheats repository we've got our json cheats mc4 and shn if i go into the json folder i can highlight all of these and then go back to our trainers folder for the multi-trainer and go into the json trainers folder and basically just copy all of these json trainers for gold hen into the trainer folder so we can get all of those added and then we can also do the same for the MC4 cheats. We'll just drag those all into the MC4 trainers folder. Okay, and then finally, I'll also do the SHN trainers and copy those into the SHN trainers folder. And there we go. So that's all of the cheats from Gold Hen have now been added to the multi-trainer. Now, they will not show up correctly in the multi-trainer because they're not named correctly for the multi-trainer to be able to identify them properly. So what you can do is I've also created another program uh, which I will leave in the video description. So I've created a program here called goldhen to trainerexe If you copy the exe and the DLL file into the trainers folder in Reaper Reborn, and then just highlight your JSON trainers, your MC4 trainers, and your SHN trainers, and drag them on top of the program, and then just say yes to delete incompatible files. And then there we go, done. That will basically rename all of them so that they should show up correctly in the trainer. And there we go, that is all done. SHN trainers all renamed, so we are good to go. So now if we go back into the multi-trainer, run it again, and you can see how many trainers it's loading now from 708 to almost 3000. Obviously a lot of these will be duplicates, but not all of them will be duplicates. You can see we have our Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart trainer added in here. And if I search for Assassin's Creed, we should find Assassin's Creed Mirage is now available. So there it is there, Assassin's Creed Mirage. So we do have a bunch of extra trainers added in here that we didn't have before. All right, so let's go ahead and try a PS5 game now. So Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I'm on version 1.002. So 
So I'll load up this trainer here and then switch back over to our PS5 and run the game. So we'll close out of Days Gone and we'll load up Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Okay, so here we are loaded up into our native PS5 game. So once again, we'll pause it and switch back over to our computer to enable the trainer. So we'll attach trainer. So I just added a few options into this trainer as a little example. So we've got infinite ammo, one hit kill and infinite health, freeze currency at vendors, which basically means anything you buy at a vendor will not take any of your money away. And then also we've got bolts plus rare, rare titanium multiplier, which will multiply any currency you earn in the game by the multiplier value. So for instance here, we'll go ahead and enable infinite health first of all. So infinite health plus one hit kill. So infinite health plus one hit kills a toggle. So we can also enable infinite health from here, get that enabled and then also one hit kill. So that way you can have infinite health plus one hit kill or just one hit kill or just infinite health. And then also we're gonna go ahead and enable infinite ammo. And then finally, we'll also add the multiplier and we'll do like 10,000 or 100,000. No, we'll do 10,000. 10,000 bolts. So every bolt we get will be equal to 10,000 bolts instead. So we'll go ahead and enable the multiplier. And there we go. That should be all good. So let's give this a try. Switch back into the game. Resume. So we should be good right here. Let's try and take some hits. See what happens. Okay, there we go. We took a hit, but the health bar didn't even appear because we didn't take any damage. We're still on max health right here. 30 out of 30, still 30 out of 30. As you can see, we're not losing any health. Now, in terms of one hit kill, it's kind of two hit kills right now because you have to knock their armor off. But once new stuff spawns in, it should be one hit kill. So this ship shouldn't normally take one shot, but I can kill it in one hit right there. That's also working. So we've got one hit kill. You can also see how many bolts I'm getting. Hundreds of thousands of bolts here thanks to the bolt multiplier. So it's going absolutely crazy. Down there in the bottom right hand corner you can see how many bolts we've got. And we can kill all of these enemies in one hit. They all go down in one shot. All of that stuff is working. We've got our bolt multiplier, our unlimited ammo. As you can see I can like hold down. I'm not losing any ammo whatsoever. Still 154 out of 154. So yeah, anyway, that's a native PS5 game that we have a trainer for. There are other trainers. There is one for Demon Souls out there. If I find it, I'll leave it in the description. And I'm sure there will be more PS5 games added as time goes on. It's just a bit slow right now uh, because it's only just available for PS5 and a lot of the cheap developers are still on PS4. There's not that many of them on PS4, PS5 right now, so there's not as many PS5 game trainers available but there will be more added as time goes on so you've got all these ps4 cheats that you can use for all of your ps4 games on the ps5 right now as well uh, there's hundreds of cheats for you know all these different ps4 games that you can use from the jailbroken ps4 that can now be used on the ps5 by the way if you want to learn how to make your own cheats yourself how to create your own trainers like this then definitely let me know because i can definitely do an updated tutorial on it i did one like a couple of years ago about it uh, which is definitely outdated now so because of some of the updated tools that we have. Um, and of course, I never went into Code Cave in that video. So I could certainly, you know, go a lot further and do a new tutorial covering that and showing you guys how to make your own trainers for the PS4 and the PS5, since it's the same tools that you use to develop the cheats on both PS4 and PS5. So definitely let me know if you would be interested in that. And also just to show you guys that the cheats from Gold Hen do in fact work when added, as you can see here, Assassin's Creed Mirage that we didn't originally have cheats for was added with the gold hen cheats and the trainer is working. I can attach it and enable things like one hit kill and infinite health. And when I go into the game, you can see that it is actually working. I can kill the enemies in one hit and I'm not taking any damage. So that all works as well. So you've got all, so you've got hundreds and hundreds of cheats for your PS4 games. There's only a couple of cheats available for PS5 games right now, but that will improve as time goes on. There's just not that many uh, cheat developers on the PS5 yet, and uh, it's still early days, but we will get more trainers available for PS5 games in the future. And I think there is a Demon Souls trainer somewhere, so if I find it, I'll also include it. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's it from me. So hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.